Hi everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to an edited coding cast. This cast is going to be about how to debug a Flutter widget and some techniques and tools that I use. I'm doing this because I feel that um, unedited coding sessions could benefit developers who want to learn new approaches and see how others do things. Um, I know I would appreciate that when I just started. Um, I was working with the slider widget and just to remind everyone, I'm assuming that you already know basic Flutter. So this is more of an intermediate uh, session, let's say. Um, okay, I was working with the slider widget. I'm assuming everyone knows the slider widget. And there is a label that's supposed to, well, it's an option to show when you drag the ticker that um, shows the current value of that of the ticker, of the slider. And when I tried uh, working with it, it didn't work. And I thought that would be a really good opportunity to just do this session because I'm just gonna try and figure it out. And hopefully doing so um, will show some of my approaches to, to things. And well, I hope it's gonna be useful. Anyway, um, let's dive into the code and I'll talk about what I do along the way. If you see uh, that I'm rushing or maybe I'm omitting stuff, leave me a comment and I'll try to um, address that next time or maybe just like as a follow up. Um, well, and any feedback would be appreciated. Okay. Um, We'll go to Android Studio now, and um, this is a um, basic uh, template, Hello World, the one that uh, comes with Flutter as you install it. As you can see, it's full of uh, comments, we'll just eliminate them soon, but usually that's how I um, try to isolate a problem. Um, sometimes if you try to do that in your own like messy, complicated project, kind of um, takes your focus away. I was, um, I usually do that. So I'll just open a new project and just throw a few stuff in there. Okay, let's run, just make sure that this even works. This is my emulator over here. Uh, let's set it up so it's easier to see. And I'll make this. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, as you could see basically the out-of-the-box Flutter app. Cool. I guess we don't care about much of it. Uh, what I want to do now is just remove all those elements that are unuseful. I was thinking about just doing that in the template, you know, because you can change the template that um, is created every time you create a new project. You can make something of your own. But I haven't still done that, so... Let's see. I think that's most of it. Just save it, check that everything is still as it should be. Yeah, sure. Looks good. Okay. So now we'll add a slider. What do we have here? We have the scaffold, which I usually I think we can keep. It doesn't doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let's maybe keep the center, I guess. A floating action button. Mm, don't care either. Okay. 
What are we doing? Yeah, uh, we add a slider. So we have the adaptive slider. By the way, the adaptive slider allows you to um, create a slider that will look differently between iOS and Android, but we'll just do the material one, I think. This is just the material one. Okay, it's um, it has a value that it needs. So we'll just say that there is a value. And the on changed, which will be eventually, I think. One of the problems that I've dealt with with Flutter, I think, it doesn't autocomplete lambdas the way you would like them to. So, for example, I can see that this is a, a function that accepts a double and returns void. Basically, I have to create a double like, value, let's say. For this to be valid, but going in, I would just expect that control and spacebar or whatever you have uh, in your ID would just bring like the default lambda. But it is what it is. At least we know how to do that, I guess. Okay, so um, get the value, and we need to. That state, so it updates the slider. We'll do that here. So let's we'll say value is now value. Amazing. And obviously, we don't need that, but we'll just keep it for fun so the compiler doesn't show at us. Or, you know what? Let's make it look good. So double. Uh, what was it? Value. Cool. Du, du, du. Yeah, we'll just throw that away. Don't really need that for now. That comment. And format it. I usually like to format my code often. It has its um, drawbacks, I guess. Sometimes, if you have a long line, you know, more than 80 characters over here, it will just break, even if it's just a var variable assignment. Some people like to remove the auto format, like the hard wrap at 80. I don't know, I'm keeping it, but. I don't even know why we talk about it. Okay. So let's see, let's rerun it again, and okay, something is up, what did I do wrong, session 9, value, oh right, so it expects an initial value, uh, the default setting, the default values for a slider, I think is like 0 to 100 or something, Let's say that we want to be like 50, okay? Not super important. Uh, yes, yeah, still something is wrong. Value is okay, not in the range, really. Hmm. Weird. Let's see. So, mean. Okay, my bad. It's between 1 and uh, 0 and 1. So let's pretend it's between 1 and 100. Run it again. I'll do this. Okay, so as you can see, 0, 100, initial value is in the middle, right? Moving it, updates it because of the set state. Up until here, everything is fine, even the color is okay. Um, I think that it gets the color correctly if it's just like default setting like that. So we set it to, I don't know, let's say we like red, pink. Yeah, okay. So even the colors are correct, everything up until now looks fine. I think it was here when the thing that didn't work. I don't know, I hope, I hope you can see that. 
hope you can see the documentation where I record this. Oh yeah, I think I'm recording the whole screen, so it's fine. Okay, so a label, uh, a label to show above the slider when the slider is active. It's pretty obvious. It is used to display the value of discrete slider and it is displayed as part of the value indicator shape. If now, then the value indicator will not be displayed. Sure. Up until here, makes sense. So what I was expecting this to do, and I think this is a widget, right? Oh, it's a string. Okay. For example, when the value changes and it redraws it, and we just have the value, just print it to string, this by itself should produce the like label above the string, above the ticker. And it didn't work for me um, when I did this in my own project, so let's see. I'm assuming it won't work here, but if it will, it will be a very short session. Okay, let's go here. So I'm trying to move um, the ticker and I don't see anything in particular working over here, right? So the other thing I can try, let's because I um, saved the document, which meant uh, the hot reload function worked. So we'll just reload it, like restart it. Maybe that will help. Okay, let's try it. Still no, no good. Okay, so I think that there is a problem with the slider. I think it doesn't work correctly. And what I want to do now and is to try to understand why. Um, so there's a few things, we can go to the code, to the source code, and we can look at the, at the string label. So if you ever wonder where I'm at like in the source, you can look at the, um, like the breadcrumbs, I think it's called, anything where you can see that uh, I'm in the material slider dot dart. So we can see that uh, slider is also also affected by the theme data, the accent text theme body too. Um, it might be a reason for that not to work, but I'm just gonna assume that that is not the reason. So what I'm gonna do next is I just want to see where is it used in the project, like in the source of this file. Um, so one way is just to, uh, when you highlight or just stand over the label, you can see over here all the occurrences. Um, just look up, we'll see. Slider, label, or it's in the constructor. Another constructor, makes sense. Over here as well, I think it should be, yeah. In property label. I actually have no idea what, what is this, what are those diagnostic properties? Yeah, that's is like a debug stuff. This is not interesting. Okay. The label again. Oh, lower. Uh, slider render object widget. So we can see that, um, assuming this is the build material slider, uh, uses, returns the uh, Slider render object widget uses the label. We'll see. So, um, Android Studio, if you'd used it with uh, Android, it's a really uh, cool function. It's called, called, it was called, it's still called Data Flow. You can see um, the data from one variable that goes up and down like you can see who calls it who uses it who passes it up until this point and you can see from this point onwards um, the thing is with the flutter and dart they still you don't make it work i think it's data low um, or data from here yeah i think it still doesn't work to here 
yeah or maybe one day to show so we'll do it manually we'll just go further and what we can see is label again used in this uh, constructor and again create render object label pass to render slider I'm assuming this is where we need to go and look we do that again and okay so render slider sure so we're here and what is this is this is a this is the constructor and okay it is used as label sure it is assigned to the underscore label build member okay yeah we get it cool set if value sure just a typical setter now i want to see where it is used hmm. Probably just the getter is used, right? So oh yeah, when you when you use the set label, the update uh, label painter is called makes makes sense. Okay, find the get label update painter if label. Label painter, yada yada yada. Okay. Label painter. Text pen. Okay. And if it was now, then label painter text. Because of the yeah, that's, yeah. Up until now, I don't see anything for why it would not work. Who are you, label painter? You're a text painter. Okay, sure. Why not? And then, why are you not working? Slider theme value indicator textile. Okay. Anything. I think this is going to help us, but this was not my um, direct intention. So what happened here is that the Flutter SDK that I use normally when I develop, I use my like a, the out of the box, the one, the official one that you get from the site. Um, but sometimes when you want to go and uh, change something in the Flutter source code. So you'd fork the GitHub repository, you would uh, work on it separately, you know? So, and you can plug any um, project that you have to work with either. You can, because let's say you change something, uh, let's say you changed, well, like we might just do uh, the player options, you would want to um, check if it works. So you'd have to have a separate copy of the Flutter, Flutter framework, change it over there, and then um, test your results and then eventually maybe suggest a change, but that's besides the point. So the good thing is that for us, I think it's already plugged over here. I'll show you how to check it in a second, which means I think that we can just edit the code one project file, I'm sure. I'll delete this file anyway. Yeah, okay. Sure, I can edit that anyway. So the 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 reason I spotted it it's probably because it's in my studio projects uh, Flutter and not where my regular uh, regular Flutter SDK is. And this is the way I do that. I go to settings, settings, and I use look for Flutter. Water. and I think it's over here 
yeah so flutter sdk path this is the one that i um is for like development of uh, the flutter framework i mean not development and uh, developing it obviously but you know if you have an issue you want to try something new with um, something that exists already you know maybe you want to change the way that button behaves or either for us so you can see that i have like two over here this is the one that i usually use and for some reason it probably got stuck uh, over here so it's good for us um so we can see that update uh, label painter uses the the values that we've passed from label right so it was that over here and then if it's not now which it isn't um send the text over here and I guess this label painter is expected to be um, painted over uh, the uh, painted over the slider, which obviously doesn't work. And we'll see. Uh, I hope we'll find out why. So okay, we can start by doing a few things. I always think that maybe just trying to hack around with it. It's a good idea, you know, because sometimes just changing a value gets you closer to understanding what was broken. So, for example, one of the things that I think that might not work, maybe it paints the um, paints the label, but it's white for some reason. So, I guess we can approach this from another uh, perspective. We can go back to our file and we can say that. Okay, let's say that it's um, inside a container, right? Not even this thing. Just put it over here and we'll color it, um, I don't know, something dark, like it's gray, or it's white, whatever. Color, we'll color it this color. So if, if it was painting it white, we would see that, right? So and stick hmm. sure don't work right what 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 what, what? um body container color try something obvious let's try not blue i think blue is right oh, indigo Indigo you do. Yeah, so it doesn't paint it not even a little bit, so it's not even working, right? So at least this is my conclusion up until this point. We can remove that, that's not important. Go back here, go back over here, and okay, so what are what other options could there be? Maybe the label painter is not even used maybe like we said it we say that we want to use it but then we don't use it at all so let's find all the usages uh, over here of the label painter i mean maybe a way it's not used we can see it over here system phone did change no, I don't think it's here. Okay, so we can see that it is used again. It's used in... Where are we? In the paint. In the paint call. Just I mean, where everything is painted. Overland mission not dismissed. Okay. Label painter paint overlay shape. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This is the file. Yeah, I guess that. Where else is it used? Value indicator shape. Sure. Is interactive label. 
I mean, I'm not even sure why it's using those places. I'm not. I don't want to immediately dive into the exactly how they um, how the slider is made. You know, I'm trying to look for an easy, obvious solution, something that was missed um, at first, at least. Sometimes maybe when there's no chance, no other option, you just have to dive in. Okay, there is a slider theme, thumb shape paint, uses label painter, right? Um, slider theme, a value indicator shape, uses label painter. Interesting. Why both? I mean, you know. The good thing is that they all kind of use the label painter. So it's not just one place that maybe used it that used it wrong or something. Like didn't pass it for example. I think this going inside here, maybe the paint uh, method is um, is problematic. So we're now in the slider theme. I'm not sure why paint is in here, but we'll see. Change the shape, taking into account the state best to it. If label painter, interesting that it's over here, is not now, then label painter paint should be called with the location that the label should appear. Sure. If the label painter is now, then no label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Are we in an abstract? Yeah, we're in an abstract. Okay, so we can look at the implementation, I guess. No idea why there are four. Okay, so we have round slider overlay, empty slider component, round slider thumb shape, and pedal slider value indicator. Okay. Let's try... Try the round slider thumb shape, I mean, why not? You get the label painter. Uh, where, where, where is it even? Label painter, right? And then, hmm, how do you use it? Okay, so you the canvas radius twin, color twin, sure. You draw a circle. Okay, and this is. Not really using the label painter at all. Let's try something else. Let's try. Where did you go? Where was I? Oh, yeah, I'm in the correct place. Right, so uh, this one doesn't use it at all. Maybe the other round slider overlay shape. I could have read maybe one, which one? The default shape. Blah blah blah, the shape of the overlay is a circle with the same center. Yeah, whatever. There is the label which is over. I lost it. Where did you go? Go. Label painter, sorry. And this is, this one is required over here, so I'm assuming it's gonna be used. Well, not seeing how it is used at all, to be honest. Weird. Yeah, okay, so just at first glance, it kind of looks as if Label Painter is not used at all, but we still are not giving up on them. Yes, there's like two more places to, to check for, and I'm not exactly sure 
maybe the four paints are like combined to one on top of the other. So the empty one is an internal implementation, not sure how it's got. Let's try the, the panel weird one, which is the... Everything is the default shape apparently. The slider value indicator. Oh, value indicator. The default shape of the slider's value indicator kind of feels like what we need. Label painter, right? Yeah, okay. This is good, this is good. Draw value indicator, amazing. Please do draw a value indicator. Path painter, draw value indicator. Genius. Genius. So I'm thinking now maybe I should just um, debug at, at this point because obviously there is a label painter that we are passing and we are hoping it works. Um, maybe if I see that it's null over here for some reason, I can see why. So just gonna try and see if I can debug it through here. Never. This is like first try, first try of doing it from uh, over here. Yeah. Okay. So we stopped it. We ran it again. How long are we in the in the cast already? I hope this is not as boring as uh, might be. Oh damn! Nothing happens. Kind of sucks. Yep. So there is two options. One option is just because it doesn't like the. Um, the debug point doesn't work for some reason and the other option is because it even doesn't even reach here so what we'll try and do okay let's try and go from the opposite direction so we have the label the slider right so go to the code this is the uh, the construction that we use and we can see that it um calls the yeah i mean we should be able to see what it's called that's all the asserts i guess from here but it's weird Nope. So I'm looking for the body. Okay, obviously it's not here. Oh yeah, right, because that's not how it works. Hmm. Yeah, right. There's like a build method. Actually. Okay, so let's see what slider contains. Let's go right there. Where are you? Doctor. Slider has create state. All right. Okay. My bad. Slider state. Oh yeah, because we said it's in the build material slider. Well, we can we can try by seeing if this is even called. So yeah, we moved it a little bit. This one got called. Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. Remind me uh, what's the one for continue. Uh, right, F9. Sure. So we can see that this one is getting hit, but ours isn't. And let's see if it goes into the material slider. Was it not F10? I think it's the step over, step into. Just step into. Uh, not what I meant. Step. Uh, oh, step over. Right. Sorry. Step over. Step over. Right. Okay. 
So we can see that it goes into material, build material slider, which is already something. Now, what we don't know is why, for some reason, it doesn't get to um, to using the paint methods that we were looking at. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um, build material slider, yada yada yada. Where is the label? Label. I don't like using search. Yep, label. No, there is no label. Oh yeah, okay, okay, right. So, I think that is a good starting point slide render object widget right so once we get here just run it over yeah cool um let's see what this is evaluated for widget label like we have the value you know 44 whatever up until here it'd be fine then we can see like we can even into okay no we just have to do it manually we're now in the slider render object widget right I mean, we obviously we're here but to do that again the create render object which I'm assuming is called we can again debug to here that it was not called no no I'm assuming it should have been let's just do like we are no longer caring about this one thank you and this one is good all multiple types yeah I don't see for some reason this one is not called at all um, let's see all the places that it is it is in the up update. Sure. Okay. Um, what is it? the slider render object widget? Different only widget. Yeah, yeah, sure. Well, it only has a few things. Hmm. Okay, I'm assuming this has to be has to be called right. uh, let's move yeah okay so something is called it is progress okay so what do we, what do we have here render object label equals label cool how, how is this helpful what do we know? I mean, just by updating label doesn't necessarily help us in any way. Searching for usages of this label. Dynamic usages. Yeah, I don't know. This was the setting if labeled. Update label painter. Yeah, I think we were here. Let's see if. Can get over here. It's my debug. Yep, cool. Update label painter. Our so label is still not null. And I'll just step into this thing. So label painter. Um, text. Text pen with the label, right? I mean. A label painter will be updated over here. Mark needs layout. I guess. And go, 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 go. Stuff happening. Yep. Okay, so 
let's see who uses label painter right someone has to do something with it afterwards after it is set Was not cool, that's fine. System phones need change, don't care. Yep, over here, over here, and over here. Just trying to see where it goes, right? So I just continued, and I can see that label painter is being set over here. And this is the slider, th slider theme overlay shape that is called. Sure. Let's remember that. Also, slider theme thumb shape. I think maybe here it's a good one. And uh, this one we don't care anymore. So, the, the way I usually do that is after you find the places that you really care in the code you don't need the breakpoints from before because otherwise you'll be just you know i don't know it depends on how you just do things so i just like to leave out only those that i specifically need right now you know okay but this one either So we're, we're now debugging the paint method because we did see that the one um, breakpoint that we used was not being called. We can just look at all the breakpoints that we have. We have three in slider dart, actually four. And let's see which one was not. Yeah, the one that wasn't called was inside the theme right this was label painter something something right over here draw value indicator right okay let's see the call hierarchy of you this one uh, so we call hierarchy right so who calls to this one there's like two places this paint render range slider render slider paint hmm. yeah okay and oh yeah the range slide I don't think we need the range slider right So we only need this one. Okay, so this is the end point, I guess. Interesting, and we are in the slider, right? So, okay, thank you for that. Paint. Yep, so we can see that our breakpoint is inside the paint that should lead. It's on 11.11, that uh, line 11.11, I mean. That should lead um, to us using the label painter, actually. So. Let's just let it run for uh, for a little bit. I want to see when this is being called, if any of the paints is being called. Um, we can update it again. We can see that 11.11 is being called with Label Painter, right? So Label Painter has some stuff, right? So we can probably go and see. Label. Painter is actually something. Some text right over here. What is it? The text pen. Library merge. Copy. 
be way inherent here. I don't sure that the text would be somewhere here, but yeah, that's interesting. Okay, we'll come back to that, I guess. So, slider, overlay, paint, cold. So we can even go look inside of it. Uh, this is the paint in the theme. Oh, not exactly. Yeah. The overlay shape is lighter component shape. Hmm. Do we have a slider component shape? Oh, there was a, one more. called twice I mean yeah it's cool so we have a few places that we, um, use label printer I can't still, still see why it's not working but I think maybe if we dive into oh I think it's f7 oh kind of go inside we're now in the paint part of round slider overlay shape. Sure. I mean, it does have label painter, just doesn't use it at all. Hmm. Oh. Round slider overlay shape. Round slider overlay shape. And not what what did we want it to be? The paint that we would like to be called all those places is the paint of It was pedal slider or round slider? Empty slider? I'm thinking pedal. It's a pedal slider. The default shape of a slider is value indicator. Oh shit, right, sorry. Pedal, pedal slider. Pedal slider. Don't see it used anywhere, right? I think I do. Paints custom paint with text in it. Yeah, sure, sure. It's the default sign of tick work. Okay. Okay. I think we're getting closer. For some reason, our pedal um, paint is not getting called at all. I mean, right? So. How do, how do I know that? It's because I go to the, whatever, this part, the um, pedal, the one that, the only one that uses label painter to write. And though I did think that we 
and a breakpoint here, we didn't. Let's just check that this breakpoint is really not cold at all. Yep, yep, yep. Right, so it wasn't cold. So now we think to ourselves, why only those two? You know, why slider theme value indicator shape? And slider theme shape, right? Um, also, I mean, we could see that the round paint was, the round shape was called, right? So we can go and see that, the, let's see, I think it was the second one, the round slider, some shape. This one was being called, you know, so we could, we could see that. And the reason it was being called, I mean, less, matters less, but we can see if it is used somewhere, right? So we can just do usages and we can see that it is used in the slider dart, right? So default th thumb shape, sure. So we have this slider component shape. Oh, here's the, wasn't it? I think when I tried to look in, let's see. Oh yeah, no, it's here. Okay. Sure, so I think we can see now clearly. So we have default value indicator shape, right? And we have it set. And this is all inside of slider state. All correct, all according to what we do, uh, to what we're looking for, and then Let's see where it is used. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. Use over here. Value indicator shape. So, it is used if slider theme value indicator shape is none. There we go. Build the slider theme. Mm, sure. Sure, this just makes it a bit more complicated to find. But this is the printer object widget. Right. Hmm. Okay, we have the slider theme and we pass it over here. There is this theme. Yeah. And the slider is the theme. When we expect um, slider theme pedal thing paint be called, right? This one. Sizes. Why do we need the sizes? Sure. Track shape. Track shape. Still nothing that we need. There's the slider theme again. Oh, this is the setter. Yeah, I'm not caring about it yet. Update label painter, right? So update the value indicator text style. Not the one that we need, I think we need the something pedal. Do we want to edit it? We do but maybe not just now. Come on. Oh made money. Value indicator text style. Which one do we want? Yeah, I'm already confused. So the slider theme, it has the um, oh, not the textile, right? 
because I wasn't thinking about textile. I was thinking about it has the what's it called? The constructor. Come on. Um, um, um yeah, I don't care. Shadow range. No. No no no. The pedal slider value indicator shape. Value indicator shape. Okay. Let's see who uses value indicator shape. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of things. Sure, right, right. Yeah. Value indicator. Wait. Was that called? That part? Interesting. This I don't think this was ever called. So eleven eleven was called. Right? And there was another one. So this one is the one that can actually Yeah, well, I mean I think we need oh, then. I think we need to run it again. I already forgot stuff. Oh wait, my music is stopped. So give me a second. Oh yeah, thank you. Sure. Yep, sorry. Back to our code. Yeah, so let's move it. And I want the like I'm expecting this line to be really cold because the that's where the interesting stuff is. This is actually the one that because we figured out that the, this value indicator shape is the one that actually know how, knows how to paint. So I mean, I guess you could say it was pretty obvious. I don't know. Let's see what we missed. So yeah, we we do reach the if. inside it though. No. Weird. Who's now? Oh, is interactive is true. Label is not now. It's true as well. Right? right? Label? Hello? Control. Not controls. Right. Yeah, I don't think label is. Label. Nope, 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 nope. Label. Not what I was trying to do. Go in. Yep. Um. Value indicator animation. So usually you can just see the evaluated value sometimes behaves I think because I'm working on Linux on uh, Ubuntu so there's like a shortcut issue usually if you press alt I think so you can see the evaluated value you can't over here but there is another option you go somewhere where is it Evaluate like I know you're over somewhere. Let's see. Evaluate. Yeah, evaluate expression. Control uh, Alt Shift Eight. This one. Not this one. Alt Shift Eight. Yep. Oh, going on. Copy. Alt Shift Eight. Yep. You. True. Oh, so value indicator animation is dismissed is true. Which is not good for us because that's why it doesn't go inside here. And sorry, if I was mocking the mic. 
value indicator animation is dismissed or indicator animation is dismissed. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. Why, why, why? Why do you get their animation is dismissed? God damn it. Okay, so we know, and I'll. Um, with F11, I think that's different for. So it's a bookmark. You can add a bookmark. Sometimes it's helpful because breakpoints, sometimes you have like a ton of them. And if you have a bookmark, you know, you can just go to bookmarks and like over in favorites. And you can find the place that you know that is for some reason now important to you. So we'll just bookmark this place because you just saw that it takes 30 minutes to find, at least for me, maybe some people get it faster. Okay. What we want to do now is we want to see why it is dismissed, what it even means. I mean, is it always? Maybe it's dismissed because I have to make it dismissed, you know, like, because I'm not holding the... Yeah, maybe. Might be an issue of debugging. Hmm. Yeah. How do, how do we do that? Uh, okay, so, yeah, that's a good point. Let's say that this is because I uh, like am not holding ticker anymore. It's uh, dismissed. So if I break point over here, and that is not the reason, then I would still reach it, right? So um, let's move it a bit. <clears throat> yeah, we can mute. We can mute this one. Um, this one too. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't... So it's always dismissed, you know? Okay. Why is it always dismissed? Hmm. And I can do something messy just for fun i mean let's just remove that place right that part right so just to see if it has any any effect on the code like is it interactive and the labels not know not know about the dismiss part but just Let's see. We did manipulate some parts of. Um, ooh, are you? Oh, yeah, actually, it's funny. Look, it reached over here. Oh, I think now this one is false. Come on. Sure. Let's see uh, what happens. Oh, yeah, right. Fun. Let's remove that one for a sec and continue. Yeah, nothing happens. I'm assuming that's because this one doesn't get reached, so. Show body here. I mean, again, temporarily. Let's just do that, right? And now we can see it's being called. Eventually. So we can mute everything for now. I think this one, yeah. Just to see if like, anything happens. Oh my god, nothing happens! Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I was expecting it to work. Okay. It's interesting. I will give it that. Let's unmute. So we now know that it at least reaches this point. And label painter. Why do I not have? Yeah, what's over? We'll have something inside, right? So 
It's a text painter with some text. Uh, what's FFF? Is it white? Or is it black? I think it's white. Why is it white? Okay. Let me just check something else. Uh, we did this before. I think maybe it maybe it paints white. I mean, why would it do that? But let's try uh, colors like indigo. Who cares? Right. So we save again. This Pathfinder draw value indigo. I think that's a new time that we reach. Is it? Yeah, I don't remember. Don't remember. Oh yeah, it's mute. Why is it not indigo? Alright. It it's not white, it's not even... Hmm. Let's just restart it again. Just in case I missed something. It still doesn't paint anything. Hmm. Aren't you a treat? Okay. What do we know? We know that painting here. Oh, come on. In the one that is the panel here yeah, over here. It's weird. Why doesn't it reach over here? Draw value indicator. I mean, that's... Is it because of the asserts? Did I get a... Yeah, but I would have... Oh, I might, I might be getting errors and I just didn't look at it, right? So... Uh, what's going on? And this paint. Oh, um. No, it doesn't seem like it works. Paint color enable enable color evaluate and animation. Hmm. Uh -huh. Activation animation, label painter. Yeah, our favorite label painter is so over here. Draw by indicator. Okay, so we're expecting to get over here. Do we? Which ones do we hit? Which is cool, cool. Also cool. Mm, same thing. Same thing. Nothing inside. I think we're not hitting this one. No way. Is this the scale? No, I doubt it. That's weird. Over here. Oh crap. What is scale now? How is scale? Who is scale? Well, okay. Go to scale. Hmm. I think we're not setting scale. Should we? Was it? Nothing here is. Uh... No, everything is mandatory. It's one, two, three, four. I'm not sure. Let's see, which one is scale? Is this next one is scale. Right. Yep, this one is scale. Okay. Evasion animation value. Who are you? Activation animation. Activation animation? Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's just drop over here. Yep. Who are you? You're a zero. Uh, I mean. Animation controller. Activation animation. I think maybe that's. Like, again, the fault of us not holding, because, you know, it does draw only when you hold, so... Hmm. 
let's leave let's leave just those two right so that yeah something like this right I'll move it um, I'll mute it here and uh, yeah I'll mute this one too I know that we reach it now eventually sure this is okay for me yep hmm it returns immediately yeah so I will put it back over here spend it just to make sure that we never actually reach over here for whatever reason never never I mean that's that's a bit annoying I'm not sure that what we're doing is what I would suggest anyone do but just for sakes of the cast being not forever long I just want to see if we can make it work you know just we'll find why the scale is zero right? assuming there is a good reason to it hopefully right now we reach over here okay but we'll mute we're hoping that now everything works hmm. I wouldn't say this is better I would say this is weird Oh wait, because the scale. Mm. I think this is not enough. The scale does need to be something close to zero. So let's okay, we'll change this back and we'll um this was zero. The other one. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. Is one a good scale? What's a, a scale? Activation animation. Why is activation animation being weird? It's an animation, right? Activation animation. It's weird, it's just an animation. Yeah. It's as if someone forgot to start the animation, so the value is just zero. I mean, I'm assuming that you need the scale so that the text is not just appearing and disappearing and has an animation of growth, you know, like what just like pops when you start touching and dragging. Um, that would make sense. And then it somehow would get tied together. So, okay, we'll be back that part. So we'll, we'll just assuming that it is started, right? So one is the final version, like the final value of an animation. And um, yeah, thank you for that. We don't care. I don't even remember who you are anymore. Okay, look at you being ugly. Yep. I did not expect it to be this long. Let me see. How long are we in? Where's the... Oh, like an hour. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping it would be like 30 minutes long, you know, short and concise, but I think, um, well, I'll probably add some like markers to the video, to breakthroughs, <clears throat> so that you don't have to afterwards watch 40 minutes of me trying to find the problem. Maybe it's helpful to some. So, okay, I think what we'll try to do now is try to work our way to how come this is broken in the first place, right? So 
as we know, but we changed. Uh, I cannot change if there's a issue between the server. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go to where we wanted to go. Uh, was the particle changed? Oh yeah, that's why I don't like. Yeah. Hmm. I think maybe for the future I will um, add the other source control over here so that I can see the changes that I've made. Because right now I don't see any of my changes. I can go to maybe like local history. Yeah, I can see that I, at least I have that, you know, so. <clears throat> well, let's get back to the parts that we did change. We did change the true over here. Um, I think it's only only one. So. What's the, don't do the side by side. If I, is that the only one? Yeah, right, I just show. I'm pretty sure I changed something else. Um, yeah, not true. Um, I'm still not. Come on, I know there's something else. What? I didn't change that. Oh, external changes. Yeah, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so this is not very helpful because I know that I changed the value. So yeah, F4 if you want to reach, <coughs> sorry, F4 if you want to reach the code, it obviously does it um, in the background. Yeah, so we are here. This is where I changed it to true. And this is the pane that we used. I know the paint that we use. It's this paint. It's over here. And it's over here. Okay. So I guess we can. Which part is it? It's the slider theme. Oh, okay. It's profiled. Yeah. That's weird. Anyway, yeah. Move. Make another video for that. Um, hope I'm still doing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Back to code. I was just checking that I'm actually showing you my screen and not anything else. Um, like with the background image. Um, let's revert. Let's revert this change. Uh, this. And we don't like it, right? So we just revert it. Yeah, so now it's not gonna work, but it's fine. We'll even drop a bookmark here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. How did we end up here? Right, so again, I'll revert the changes that I already made. I'll just leave it as it was, you know, with the value indicator animation. Oh, I, I, yep, I can see that now. So the value indicator animation that we were passing over here, that one that was uh, zero, the value of which was zero, is because it was dismissed. Um, so we need to see why it was dismissed. We need to see why the show value indicator is false. Both things are pretty weird. Okay, let's try from this one. Um, why are you dismissed? Let's see usages, right? So, why is dismissed? Right, add listener, remove listener. Not seeing anything start the animation. I can see it being set. 
right? I mean, there's like a this overlay animation. There's a value or indicator animation. I'm assuming that wherever you start the overlay animation, you should start the value indicator animation, right? State overlay controller. I uh, mean, parent value indicator controller. I don't know, maybe that's the one. Yeah, I can see it's over here. And the listeners are really not the one who cares about the listeners. Then the con the controller is not being called. Oh, excuse me. So we have the overlay controller, right? And we have the uh, value indicator controller. Which why would you need? Like I don't see why you need to enable controller. Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Let's see the value. This one. Uh, okay, overlay, value indicator, animation duration, and sure, whatever, let's not, let's dispose, good. Does anyone? Oh yeah, okay, fine. Someone finally, someone is doing um, an indicator controller forward. Show value indicator. Another bookmark. If show value indicator, then you just run the controller, right? It's cool. You can drop a breakdown over here. Breakpoint breakdown. It's a breakdown. Okay. Um, don't remember where, where we were running, but we'll just try it again. Mm, not so much interested in you anymore. I think. Right? Yep. So when we drop over here, and this is the, the one you got, it's false. Why would you be false? Who are you even? Uh, so we have... Oh, I see only value red. I don't see it ever being set. Hmm. I mean, it's weird. And interaction, if you want to, you know, papers. Sure. Oh, very weird. If I indicator again. That's our, yeah. And that's inside the, yeah, it's checked twice. When would you? I mean, we're in the slider, right? So, so, so value indicator should be dependent on if there is or is no label, for example. So, let's go back to our thing. <laughs> oh my god, I really hope there is no like no value indicator. 
value value no in the no, I don't think so okay so if there is a label which there is in this one right whenever you check it uh, adaptive no so the render material where are you where are you yeah slider type sure oh the slide yeah we're in the slider sure like you could yeah but it's an internal one okay there is value indicator color show value indicator cool that's weird show value indicator which is not it's a theme it's a theme thing slider theme show value indicator so it's a theme thing how is it a theme thing only for discrete so a discrete slider I think is the one that is broken into a couple of um, um, that's weird well indicator is not even a boolean no? yeah. Yeah. Uh, always never, yeah, so weird. This is enum, this is a very strange thing to do. So, copy, it's a thin data, right? So we can see, I think we narrowed it down. The show value indicator is false based on either the default value or uh, our theme so we don't know which one uh, we can break but like, I mean, that's what we've been doing all this time so um, yeah okay we'll just run it again and we will see that only for discrete is the default setting sure. But our is now okay. Shovel indicator is now that's our theme. So we can, I think, we can safely say that we have a theme issue. I think that what we'll do now is we'll, I don't know why, why would that would be written like that, but let's just let's just try to change it, right? So we know. There's a theme part right over here. Obviously, there's a different ways to uh, get to that. And I'm assuming there is slider theme, right? And um, so we do like defined, define one from primary colors. Yeah. Okay. Fun. So there are a couple of things that I don't like about theme, but we'll leave it for another time. We'll just copy. So what I want to do is not create a new one. I just want to take the one that is created when you um, um, create a default one with a primary swatch. There is some interactions going on there. And then after creating that one, just adding onto it, which actually I can do over here, adding onto it, oh yeah, I can do it here, I need to do it, yeah, I can do it here, so, and adding onto it specifically that part, so, I think basically what I want to do, um, yeah, I want to 
Yeah, no, I will have to still do it. Just have to do it a few. Uh, I, I had to work with the theme a few times because, well, I think everyone does a Flutter material app or even just wants uh, the ability to change colors uh, easily and not hard coding everything. We'll use uh, the uh, theme class, which is again not very good in my opinion, but because I use it, so I, it's. That's how I do it. If you do it differently, I'd be really interested in hearing. So we'll create the theme over here. And over here we'll, um, yeah, and we will actually create another um, slider theme. Well, not really created, but just take it from theme, slider theme, uh, copy with, so we're just changing something uh, just just changing this one annoying value so it's show value indicator and as you can see there's show a value indicator always I think we'll use that right um, now what you need to do is do this theme again copy with because we're only changing one value and it's of the slider thing which we already have right so slider thing over here like this i think it might just work i think what we um well let's see if it works first did i run it but no thank you let's see horrible but it works you can see that when we drag it's a pretty cute animation i think i'm gonna use it from now on i did not know that this is how it works um okay so a couple of things we uh, learned well i hope i did today one is uh, how to look into a widget, into the implementation. It does take a bit of time and it, you do need to be able to breakpoint at the source code. I don't know if you can do it without... Um, yeah, I can, I'm pretty sure you can just do it with the um, default uh, SDK. We actually can try it over here, I think. Let's take... Um, Go to settings. We'll just switch to the default SDK, right? Stop it. I think now we'll uh, complain on me switching, right? So, why do you ring a different Flutter repository? To the repository from which the Flutter was currently executing will be used instead. Running Flutter tool from are not working. Uh, yeah, it didn't like me switching it. I think it is. Thank you. What is this even? Yeah. Mm. I think that's because let's just do like packages get or something. No? I mean, this can happen when you have multiple copies of Flyer installed. Please check your system path to verify that you're running the expected version. I am. I actually am. Let's do a Flutter upgrade or something. Hmm. Got some upgrades to do. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe it will work now. No, maybe. Doesn't seem like it works. I think I broke my flutter. Ah, 
So, but I can't edit this out. Um, yeah, we can do something, I think, about it. I know there is water clean, I think. Come on, Flutter. Uh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know. Um, let's do Flutter. Yeah, we'll try it again from here. So we switched the SDK to the default SDK just to see if you can break. Oh, well, you're probably debug. If you can break. What is going on? just to be certain um yes slider we try sure my music stopped yeah this window And no thank you. And we'll try to run this again. From I think maybe because if you change it in the middle of working on a project might give you some headache. I don't think it should, but instead of trying to solve another puzzle right now, I'm just wanna see if this one will work. It kind of works now. I mean, it's obviously disgusting because I did the value. I should have done value to int the string. Be better. Yeah. Um. I like how it works. Kind of cute. Um. Yeah. So one second, and we'll see if it breaks on the thing. We can now go and see the structure. Thank you. Um, better state build. There's a build material slider. Yeah. Let's see if you reach this breakpoint. It does. So yeah, you can see that you can like use breakpoints um, in your own code as well, just out of the box apparently and we um we explored this slider widget trying to understand why it wasn't working it i guess works as intended um i do think like normal people wouldn't be able to think about it you know like there's no part in the documentation that shows you that if you um, specify the label, which kind of means that you want to use it. I mean, you know, guys, let's see. If you want, we can do another video of us creating a pull request to change speci this spe specific thing about the slider. Because I think if you already 
did came all the way and you specified the label obviously you want to see the label you don't need the slider to just um, have it in its theme I mean maybe it is there to protect like maybe it's there to show uh, the value even when the label is gone so we'll see let's just remove the label and we'll run it again it would make some sense for it to show the um, the label now even though we didn't specify the value that we want to see on it I mean then it would make sense to have yeah, you see, there, there, it doesn't, so I think that's a bug, which makes sense, I mean, makes sense to have bugs. So if you like this video, I know it was super long, I hope that I would be able to add some markers to, to stuff, to like, solutions, and if you want to see stuff like that, uh, maybe to see how we um, create a pull request, how we improve the Flutter framework, uh, then just, uh, I don't know, say it in the comments, like the video, probably say it in the comments, yeah, so, thank you, uh, that was actually pretty fun, pretty fun for me. <laughs>